Right friends, welcome back to questions and answers, general and banking. This is 41st week from 5th to 11th October. Look at the first question. Sibyl TransUnion score ranges from 300 to 900. What is Sibyl? Credit Information Bureau India Limited. It gives a credit history of the person. Whenever you are approaching some bank, they will look at the Sibyl about your credit history. So, if your credit history is poor, previously you have taken loans but have not paid them, under those circumstances they will not grant you loan and this transunion score of Sibyl is very important and banks will look at it before sanctioning loan to you and this Sibyl transunion score minimum is 300, maximum is 900, its range is 300 to 900. In insurance sector, ombudsman office can deal claims up to rupees 20 lakhs. All of you are well aware in the banking sector, ombudsman will look into the claims up to rupees 10 lakhs, maximum compensation he can give only up to 10 lakhs in banking sector and if it is a credit card related, he can give maximum up to 1 lakh only. But in insurance sector, the maximum limit is 20 lakhs. Insurance sector has also got ombudsman and there the maximum limit is 20 lakhs. In the climate summit at Paris, deliberations will be to address the greenhouse gas emissions. You may ask what is greenhouse gas? Greenhouse gas is predominantly is carbon dioxide and methane is there, then nitrous oxide, N2O is there. So, these are all greenhouse gases and as per the deliberations at Paris conference, the main purpose is to reduce the temperature raise to 2 degrees in comparison to the pre-industrial level that is of 1750. That means the overall aim is the temperature should not exceed 2 degrees in comparison to the temperatures in 1750 because 1750 is considered as pre-industrial level. Look into the next one, the 13 member National Advisory Committee on Accounting Standards or you can say NACAS is headed by Amarjit Chopra. This is basically to streamline the accounting standards and for that purpose, this committee was established which is headed by Amarjit Chopra. Antrix, Antrix is in news recently because of the compensation awarded by International Court of Arbitration. International Court of Arbitration is based in Paris. It is the organ of International Chamber of Commerce and International Court of Arbitration gave hefty compensation to Devas Multimedia for not honoring the contract given to Devas Multimedia by Antrix and Antrix is the commercial arm of ISRO. So, the answer here is ISRO. As ICICI Bank, SBI were nominated as DCIPs, domestic systemically important banks. These two banks are nominated because of nomination. They are required to maintain more common equity tier 1 capital. You can say more capital is to be maintained by these two banks and two things I would like to tell you. ICICI Bank is to maintain extra 0.2 percent capital and SBI is to maintain extra 0.6 percent capital and this is to be ensured in three years starting from April 1, 2016. That means out of this 0.2 percent, they have to ensure 25 percent that means 0.05 percent, I am talking about ICICI bank. They have to maintain additional 0.05 percent by April 1, 2016 and increasing it uniformly so as to reach 0.2 percent by April 1, 2019. Similarly, SBI will maintain 0.15 percent extra by April 1, 2016, progressively increasing to 0.6 percent by April 1, 2019. So, the answer here is April 1, 2019. The initial investment proposed under NIIF. What is NIIF? 
NIIF is National Investment and Infrastructure Fund government announced in the budget it is yet to be commissioned and NIIF government's contribution will be 20,000 crores of rupees. Banks are required to report credit information. If somebody has taken big loan, bank is required to give that information to central repository of information on large credits. Central repository of information on large credits otherwise known as CRILC. Banks are required to give information of large credits to that organization and banks are required to report if the value of the loan is rupees 5 crores and above. The answer here is rupees 5 crores. SMA 0 is the category when the principal or interest is overdue for not more than 30 days. When the loan is overdue for more than 90 days, it becomes non-performing asset. But before 90 days, for big loans given by consortium of banks, you may ask what is consortium of banks? Consortium of banks is when a loan is given by two or more banks coming together for giving the loan, then it is known as loan given by consortium of banks. When the loans are given by consortium of banks, before becoming loan NPA, before the loan becomes NPA, that is to be categorized prior to that as SMA 0 up to 30 days. From 31 days to 60 days, it will be SMA 1. From 61 days to 90 days, it is SMA 2. At the level of SMA 2, they have to form joint lenders forum. So, these are applicable for consortium loans given by banks coming together. They are otherwise known as multiple banking accounts, consortium accounts, syndicated loans, whatever you call, they are given by banks coming together. Right friends, answer here is not more than 30 days. When the account is categorized as SMA2, just now I have told you, when the account is categorized as SMA2, the consortium of banks should form joint lenders forum. If the aggregate value of exposure is rupees 100 crore and above, loans are given by consortium of banks. I have told you before 90 days, they have to take action by categorizing them as SMA 0, SMA 1, SMA 2. At the level of SMA 2, they have to form joint lenders forum. If the loan is equal to or more than 100 crores of rupees and 5 crores, please do not confuse, 5 crores is the loan amount where the banks are required to inform to central repository and 100 crores is the limit beyond which banks are required to form joint lenders forum before the loan goes bad or before the loan becomes NPA. Right friends, Shashank Manohar, Nagpur, he is from Nagpur. He took over as the president of BCCI for the second time and he was BCCI president from 2008 to 11, if I am not wrong. Best selling crime writer Henning Menkel, who created detective character of uh, inspector Kurt Wallander, died recently at the age of 67. He belongs to Sweden. Look into the next one, set to be the country's first mobile app line. All of you are well aware, Axis Bank launched multi-social payment app that is PingPay. PingPay was launched by Axis Bank and Axis Bank also launched country's first mobile app Lime which offers first integrated mobile money platform. It will act as mobile wallet, it will act as payments. It will be used for shopping, it will be used as a banking platform. So, that integrated mobile money platform was launched by Axis Bank. When you talk about Axis Bank, please do not forget Lime as well as Ping Pay, right? Look into the next one. Subsequent to the reduction in repo rates, now repo rate stands at 6.75 percent. 
रिवर्स रेपो रेट फाइव पॉइंट बैंक रेट एंड मार्जिनल स्टैंडिंग फैसिलिटी रेट स्टैंड सेट 7.75 percent, and during the past 10 months, Reserve Bank of India reduced these short-term interest rate repo rate by 125 basis points. When I talk about basis points, you should be in a position to convert it into percentage. 125 basis points is nothing but 1.25 percentage, and during the past 10 months, these short-term interest rates reduced by. 1.25 percent. Subsequent to this reduction, now banks are reducing their base rates, and now SBI stands at 9.3 percent base rate. So 9.3 percent base rate belongs to State Bank of India. Germany will provide concessional loans in the range of 1 billion euro. For solar energy sector, and this was announced when the German Chancellor Angela Merkel recently visited India, and this will be for a period of five years. A panel chaired by Anil Baisal. Anil Baisal was former Home Secretary, and he was appointed by Corporate Affairs Ministry. And this is with regard to corporate social responsibility, or popularly known as CSR. You may ask, what is CSR? CSR is companies which are satisfying certain criteria have to spend certain amount on social activities like water supply, like education, like health. These activities are specified under corporate social responsibility. Big companies satisfying certain criteria have to spend certain part of their previous year's profits for this social welfare or activities, which is known as corporate social responsibility or CSR. And Anil Baisal, who was former Home Secretary, panel was set up by Corporate Affairs Ministry, and he gave recommendations recently with regard to the implementation of corporate social responsibility. Hamas is the Islamist movement active in Palestine, right? Hamas is active in Palestine. Some people say it is terrorist organization. Some people say they are fighting for the rights of the people, and whatever people call it, Hamas is the organization in Palestine. An Android app designed by ISRO, ISRO's National Remote Sensing Center of Hyderabad, recently launched an Android app. It will give real-time data about hailstorms, basically to assess crop damage. It gives real-time data. Which of the following is a state-owned infrastructure lender for giving impetus to infrastructure activities? This IIFCL is government-owned infrastructure lender. You may ask, what is IIFCL? IIFCL is India Infrastructure Finance Company Limited, and When it comes to IDA, IDA is a World Bank organization which gives loans to poorest of the poor countries at lesser than market interest rates. IFC, IFC is International Finance Corporation. This is also World Bank organization which looks at private sector participation in the growth or. Economic growth of the countries, right, friends? Look at the next one. Name the state which is planning to revive the Bhol power plant. The Bhol power plant is in Ratnagiri district of Maharashtra, situated on the west coast of India. It was started by Enron. Subsequently, Enron was into problems, and subsequently, this special purpose vehicle was formed for revival of this plant. And this the Bhol power plant is situated in Maharashtra. Trade and Development Report 2015 was released by UNCTAD. UNCTAD released a Trade and Development Report 2015. UNCTAD is United Nations Conference on Trade and Development. It is Geneva-based organization established in the year 1964. PM announced 26th November as the Constitution Day or Samvidhan Divas. Why 26th November? 26th November was considered because of the reason. Constitution of India was accepted by the Constituent Assembly on November 26, 1949, and subsequently it was implemented from 
26th January 1950 which we call and celebrate as Republic Day. Last question recently 11th October was observed as the birth anniversary of Jay Prakash Narayan. Right Jay Prakash Narayan is born in the present day Saran in Bihar and famous for his socialist movement in 1960s and 1970s and recently government celebrated this birth anniversary of Jay Prakash Narayan which fell on 11th October. Right friends, with this let us conclude questions and answers general and banking. Please do join for other modules. Have a nice day. Thank you.